Hi, this is Tom Rudin, math teacher from Ohio, talking about TI Inspire software and a new feature called Publish View that's coming in April 2011. I see at least two key ways to utilize Publish View, and I'm going to illustrate them both in this short video. One, to prepare lesson plans beforehand, like a template for the class. And two, create documents to share, that is, share with your students to view at home on computer or with other teachers who may not have TI Inspire technology, using something called the player, like a PowerPoint player, and, and that will be coming very, very soon. Instead of publish view, I would have liked to have called this feature prepare and share view, but hey, that's just me. I created this first publish view file to be a template or lesson plan for teaching one of my favorite activities called the London Eye activity, a huge Ferris wheel. I use this in my trig class. This is what that lesson plan would look like, but let's go ahead and look at it in uh, publish view on the software. So this is the publish view software. This is how it would look on the student or the teacher's computer. And you can notice the use of color and text boxes. I can import pictures. I can embed video. In this case, I chose not to embed the video, but to actually just have a link. And I can have a link to whatever video it is I want, would like to watch. In this case, I wanted to see a, a video of the London Eye. We won't play it very long for obvious reasons, but you get the idea. I also can prearrange to have articles from online sources. Here's a, an article about George Ferris, good old George, uh, where he grew up, uh, the original Ferris wheel uh, from 1893 in Chicago. I also have an article about the London Eye that I could have a link to so that I can open that up literally just at the click of a button. And here's another picture of the London Eye and shows uh, its history, how it was constructed, uh, any problems they had creating it, uh, a panoramic view of, of it, of the Thames there. And then finally, I have a link to the actual document or GIF that I would give my students to um, use as a, what you might call a worksheet. I call it a gift, and it has the mathematics and what they need to do. Uh, in order to accomplish this activity. So all of that comes from the um, Publish View document. Now using the share aspect, I created a second Publish View file to be placed online to share either with my students or colleagues called Circle, Circle Perimeter Area. I use this in my geometry or it could be used in an Algebra 2 class. This is what the first page would look like. And this is what the second page would look like. But let's go now to the actual software and see. Here we have uh, a circle. And the data that's going to be collected is the radius and circumference. And the person is asked to uh, click on the endpoint of the radius and grab it and pull it. And as that's done, data is automatically captured. And you can see that it's linear. Uh, now. I'm We'll look at the, an equation that models that in a minute. Then the student would be asked to grab this endpoint of the radius and see what happens there. And you can see that's definitely quadratic. Now let's look at those two pages side by side. Here, this collected the radius and circumference and plotted it, became linear. We would model that with a linear equation, 2 pi x, 2 pi r, int, int. And here, this, this is, look how this is colored in so that it shows you its, its area, not, not linear. And this is the equation that models this is pi x squared, pi r squared. A uh, lot of good connections going on here uh, using color, uh, using linear, using space or, or area to cover, you know, colored in. A lot of good stuff going on here. And again, a student or teacher could use this using the player, does not have to have the software. Again, this is TI Inspire software, a new feature called Publish View coming in April 2011, what I like to call Prepare and Share. And this is the end of the video.